And if you thought the message coming from the White House and from my Democratic colleagues in response to all this was jumbled before, prepare yourself for something even more chaotic in the days to come. My colleagues across the aisle, unfortunately, still seem to be under the impression that Senate Republicans are going to band together to save them from the hole they've dug for themselves. They think we're going to endorse fiscal policy so destructive that many experts who are normally friendly to the White House have refused to support these ideas, and with good reason. They're a socialist government control agenda. We've been down this road before, Madam President. So my Democratic colleagues know that going through the motions of bipartisanship isn't going to be enough because we went through this months ago with the debt ceiling and on the matter of funding the government. We would have settled all of these issues months ago if the majority had their priorities in line and if they could articulate clearly to the American people what the priorities are, what the problems are, what the challenges are, and bring forward solutions the American people look at and say, yeah, that makes sense. But that is not what they have done and what they continue to do. And here's the problem with where they are. The priorities of the Democratic Party are not the priorities of the American people. Out in the real world, inflation is a problem. Spending and debt, all of that means something. How you spend your money means something. People understand that, they get it. But according to the majority, here in the Democratic-controlled Senate, none of these things actually matter in practice. In fact, the past few months have shown us that among Democrats, there's no real consensus about what, if anything, these major debates mean to them, or what's the end game. It's amazing. They can't tell you. If you are here to solve problems or create problems, people are going to figure that out. The American people are. And they know that the question should be, are you here to solve problems or create problems for your political enemies in a way that ensures you are punishing people now, that is the question that people are asking. Is the debt limit a legal fiction or a meaningful check on reckless spending? That's a question that we've heard. Is this just something that gets tossed around? Is funding the government part of your duty? Or is the appropriations debate just fuel for talking points? I think we know the majority's answers to all of these questions, and I think their answer is probably coming down on the wrong side of where the American people are. Those looking for good faith from the White House are seeming to not find it, nor are they finding any evidence that Democrats in Congress are aware of their moral obligation to be discerning and truthful about how they plan to spend trillions in taxpayer money. And there's a reason that the Democrats lied about the cost associated with their massive social spending bill, which reflects the priorities of liberal leftist activists rather than the priorities of the American people. They claimed it was paid for, but in reality, it will add $367 billion to the deficit and cost taxpayers more than another $400 billion. That's why they have not been truthful with the American people that needed more buy-in in order for the Democrats to make this happen. 
even when they knew the CBO report was going to come and show how much debt was going to be added if this bill got passed. 